Now, why you're doing all this is to define the minimum viable product, or sometimes called the MVP for short. The MVP basically is what product or service you're building in your first instance that's delivered to customers. And the MVP is not an alpha or beta. This is a big idea. In the old days, the product development process would go from seed funding to concept to a market requirements document to an engineering requirements document and blow out into an entire waterfall development process. And part of those steps were alpha test, beta test, and first customer ship. And you'd be shipping and telling customers, here's a buggy unfinished product, why don't you test it for me? And then you'd always argue with sales about whether you should charge for it or not. But the MVP is actually quite different. The MVP says, no, 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 we're not specking a version 1.0 product that has a spec 18 pages long. We're actually doing the work outside the building first and trying to understand what's the minimum version of a version 1.0. Not what engineering or the founders thought, but what is it customers are going to tell us they'll pay for or use now? And while it might be, quote, a beta product, we never use that word. We actually tell customers it's a minimum viable product. 